I'd like to find the road we roam together, swinging along, finding the long way home. We didn't mind the time or place for weather, singing a song, finding the long way home. Remember, I used to sigh at the end of each day, dear. Oh yeah. What's going on guys? So glad this is open. I checked it about a month ago. And it was built in 1940 and it's um, vintage Art Deco. Unfortunately, it's going to be demolished. Yep. Check out this cabinet. That is probably original. Now it looks like it's been off the wall and um, I'd say they've been in here to assess the place of what they're going to salvage. Now a shout out to Lauren Loza because she also gave me a reminder about this place. She also heard it was up for demolition. So shout out to Loza. So we're going to take a look. But that's that's vintage that. That's like a 50s style, but um, 1940 is not too far of a stretch for that to be original from that era. And as you saw from the opening shots, it's got a second level. I think you'll enjoy it, guys. Classic old features, there's, that's, a, that's an original old Art Deco door handle too. Mm. When I switch the light off, sometimes it, um, it looks better with daylight. 
Sometimes it doesn't. I think that's that's also a part of that cabinet there. Looks like it might have sat on the end. That's tin. These are old too. Now if I've found any interesting information on the history of this place, I've either put it in already or you will see it very shortly. the doorbell it's wired in more art deco yeah, the silver versions this must be a laundry oh check it out That is one of those really thick cast ones. Cast iron. Yeah, you can see the rust. You can see the rust coming. That's a cast iron one. Really, really thick one. And the Art Deco mirror. I like the car too, pretty cool. There would have been a trough there too, I'd say. You can see that that's where it was sitting. Unfortunately, it's gone already. So are those taps. Hopefully nothing else has been taken. Toilet in here. It's definitely a newer toilet. Okay. Into the kitchen. Are there new stoves? Wow, look at the kitchen. They're all the original cupboards. So it looks like they've um, they've been pulled out from the wall. So someone has definitely been in here to assess things. The sink top is not original, but these cupboards, all the cupboards, I'm pretty confident they're all original. See, that's tin. That's the old tin again. Hmm. Now maybe originally there was a stove in the alcove there. Don't know what this is. Looks like looks like it was the cover. The cover for something.
Which way should we go first? This way. Check that out. Wow. Not seeing that hot pink. It's not quite a hot pink, it's like a rose, a rose color. But it's, look at the Art Deco themes though. Just trying to figure out if it's... It looks to be original because the original wall paint is painted over the top of that. So that is original tiling. And check out this shower head, that's original too. Or it's close to original, it's very old. Shame they haven't left the old pedestal sink there. If I pink one of those against those tiles, that would have looked awesome. All right, this must be a bedroom. Looks like it's wood or bakelite or it's definitely not metal or aluminium. Look at these classic old cupboards too. Still got the keys. Now, this obviously is the stairwell above us, and this would be storage, I reckon. Yep. Now, we might go around into that room again. windows, but like windows. I think that must lead out to the garage. Yup. So nice. Must be the main living room. Oh yeah, there's that mantelpiece. Check it out. Fireplace and mantel. Absolute art deco. That is in one of the real estate photos, but it looks far better standing in front of it for real. Look at it. So it was definitely a functioning fireplace. And what's this? 
No, this is a, um, that's an, that's an electric heater. Maybe that was, um, maybe that used to sit in front of this. See, there's the cord there. Geez, that's old too. Yeah, I would say that when they stopped using the fireplace, they used that. The sconce lighting as well. Really, really, see there's a, uh, maybe that's not made for short people because that's the uh, on and off switch there. Short people have to get a stick and like try and poke that button. There's the bay window we saw at the front. With the uh, wooden... They're wooden slats, wooden donations. Okay, into the foyer. There's the stairs. Another nice chandelier. And that, that is a pyramid rosette. We'll go up the stairs after we look in here. So this would be the master bedroom. It's a decent sized bedroom too. Okay, let's go up. I'm trying to figure out whether this top level would be part of the original plan. We'll find out. It's another Art Deco light. <coughs> Handrail's been knocked off. larger than I actually thought. There was a pool table there. I, that's a pool, pool table light. Oh yeah, that poster says billiards and snor snooker rules. How on earth did they get a pool table up here and then get it out of here? You would have to totally disassemble it. Maybe they um, raised and lowered it out of the balcony. Definitely has a man cave feel to it. Probably was, probably was a bedroom or a loft all along as well. All right, here's the balcony door open. The first one is, and the second. Oops. Wow, this is cool. Now the reason I wondered whether this was original is because it kind of sits in between the two gables of either side. But I think this is original. It's because it's got the um, lead light window. 
So I think it's part of the original plan. Great view of the really, really busy road. All right, well, there was a couple of sheds out the back, so I reckon we'll, we'll go down there and uh, check out the sheds, guys. What's this? It's like a little lighthouse up there. Oh, it's a, it's a castle. And some kind of feature, maybe a bird feature. A bird's the birds. I don't know guys, it's like a cave in there. There the old hills hoist. Geez, this would have been a really really nice garden when it's looked after. Heaps of stone features around everywhere. And that as well. So where's this shed here? One of them. That's empty. And that shed's actually not part of this yard. It's part of that one, I think. This would be a garden shed, I would think. See, this is a rose bush with thorns on it, but I'll risk it for you guys. No, just an empty shed. All right, guys, we have seen a lot, so I'll wrap it up. What an absolute shame they're knocking this down. There was nothing wrong with it. I think I only saw like a couple of cracks and there's one there that's been patched up, but nothing even remotely close to being a reason to knock this place down. Um, yeah, built 1940 and it is in the old English Tudor Art Deco style. As you can see, there's so many classic themes of Art Deco in here. I really hope they're going to salvage everything they can out of this one and reuse it. So I'm going to take a heap of photos and they will be going up on Facebook. So you will see them there as well. Jump in the comments, guys, and I will cruise on to the next one, wherever that takes us. And I'll see you there. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Bye. What is happening, house lovers and explorers? All right, I've got to thank Helen for the heads up on this, this property. Helen's been giving me a lot of tip-offs lately some I've known about but uh, some I have not known about and I've still got to check a few out so shout out to you Helen cheers she did inform me that the excavators in the front yard of this one already and the tiles have been removed 
So I don't know exactly what we're going to see inside, but check it out guys, huge home. It looks to be a late 30s, early 40s build. Sorry about the traffic noise. Ready to pounce that thing. I think we might be lucky. I can see the interiors still intact. But yeah, those steeply pitched gables and the lead, not lead light. Well, it is lead light, it's still lead lined. That's very typical of your 30s and 40s. Well, we'll just go straight in here, guys. But yeah, again, that stucco finish, that rendering, classic late 30s and 40s. So everything is pointing to this home to be a that error. Okay, they've taken off the door trims and carpet by the look of it. Uh, my mistake. And the floorboards. That looks to be the original part of the house though. Because this is all concrete. Unless that was done at a later point. Still check it out guys. Oh man, look at that, a huge extension there as well. It looks like there's an indoor pool there. Yeah, that traffic noise was getting a little bit too much. Oh, we'll continue this way and I've got a feeling this would not be the only bathroom. feeling this this little section here was its own um, living area self-contained this was probably blocked off to the main area because you've got a little kitchen here little kitchen, bathroom, and a bedroom. So that's like a little unit there, guys. Wonder if, wonder if I can fluke, a, fluke an old tobacco tin in this one. In the, in the dirt and stuff. And I'll, I'll, I'll look later instead of just aiming the camera down, guys. But uh, look at all the original wood beaming up there and this cornicing, so. And there is the original, well, it's a heater in the fireplace. Damn. Try and see if there's any real estate photos here for this one, guys, because I'm thinking it would have been nice to look at. I 
Definitely an indoor pool over there. And we'll just hop over here. And get up here. Oh, the original old Art Deco fluoro is still there. Yeah, I've got plenty of videos on file of really nice houses that are in the salvage stage like this. And I'll probably put together a compilation, start uploading them guys, because even though I've got here a bit late, these places are still worth looking at, particularly if I can add the uh, real estate photos. Been the master bedroom. Don't know what that is. It's probably its own ensuite bathroom in there, guys. Yeah, I can see brown tiling just inside the door there. Oh, actually. I thought that was the actual mirror before, but it's not. There you go, it's the... Uh... Yeah, that is an ensuite. That's the ensuite for the bathroom. Ah, oh, sorry, the bedroom. And this is just your uh... bathroom for the main section of the house. But something I just saw then, check that out. <laughs> there is a loudspeaker installed in the toilet. Maybe, I don't know, obviously if someone gets stuck in there and needs, <laughs> maybe if there's a fire they can hear the fire alarm, I don't know. Uh, this looks like a little kitchenette as well. Okay, maybe it's the laundry. No. No, there's a fluoro light there. What do you reckon, guys? This is a kitchen or is it a laundry? We haven't seen a kitchen for. Yeah, I reckon it's a. Uh, that looks like a little diner dining room area yeah I think that's the dining room and this is the kitchen Look. clamber over here and a spa there Uh, the laundry's in here, so there you go, guys. That was the kitchen. Now, I've probably said this a few times in other videos, but um, viewers from overseas, particularly uh, the States, have been asking what these things are. Now for us Australians they're just commonplace. Every house had one of these, one or two of these, which catches the rainwater off the roof into the gutters, stores it in these tanks.
shower and toilet, laundry. Workshop, oh, pump room, pump room and workshop in there. Try and go around there if we can. And yep, definitely an enclosed pool. We are in a uh, pretty expensive suburb, guys. Yeah. Don't know how long this one has been sitting vacant. But judging by the cobwebs everywhere, it's been a while. Hmm. Let's see what we can see. Around, around there. They're just old bottle, bottle caps, I think. There's a dunny seat. Some sort of lamp. That's an infrared, infrared and radiant heat. Well, just stored junk. Old lawnmower. Hmm. Pretty much seen a lot, guys. It would have got warm in here in the summer. Like, okay, you can probably open some of the windows and the doors, but still, there would have been a lot of heat still trapped in here in the summer. Because I can't, can't really see any uh, big air conditioning units pointed in here either. See, these windows, there's been a lot of tinkering and adding to this place, no doubt about it, but um, these windows are very late 50s, early 60s. All right, guys, I'll leave it here. Say so thanks for watching. We'll move on to the next one. Hopefully it is uh, in more tact than this one. All right, guys. Cheers. Bye. Remember I used to sigh at the end of each day.